uh, at least two days in the one teens. Thankfully, not the prolonged heat like we had last year. We had nine days of 110 degrees or more. Now, that heat warning encompasses Lincoln County. Central Nye County starts tomorrow at 11 a.m. all the way until Saturday at 8 p.m. And that should be allowed to expire on Saturday. Date planner tomorrow. It's going to be a warm morning, 84 degrees by morning. 104 already by lunchtime. That means a high tomorrow. 112 will throw in some of those breezy winds at times too, as early as midday and certainly by the afternoon. Overnight lows, like we talked about, 84 here, but compare that to Death Valley, where their low will be 93 degrees uh, by morning under clear skies. So Death Valley getting ready for some serious heat that will be headed our way. All right. Well, of course, we talk about the heat and we talk about air conditioning. Uh, the extreme heat can cause some serious damage to AC units like this one. The higher uh, temperatures also come with a lot of service calls and technicians. Actually, we want to toss over, go over to Orco Mana, has more on our AC unit repairs and how to, how to beat the heat. Yeah, that's right, Ted. Like you said, the extreme heat can cause serious damage to some AC units like this one here behind me. And the higher temperatures also mean more service calls and technicians are working as hard as they can to keep up with the demand. We returned from vacation and noticed that uh, the air conditioning that I'd set at a certain temperature to be a certain temperature when we got here was not that temperature. Steve Wilkinson tried setting his system a few degrees lower, but much to his disappointment, and it uh, continued to go up. I'll try that. Technician David Need was sent to fix the problem. There was a metering device that was actually uh, starting to fail. Need says the device was likely not installed properly, but he adds the heat could also be to blame. In fact, the extreme heat is often the culprit when AC units falter during the summertime. Yeah, I would say motors and, and capacitors are the big ones that are, are heat related. Uh, capacitors just don't like the heat and they have a tendency to fail when it gets especially above 105. Uh, motors are the same way. Those issues are keeping technicians like Need very busy. We've been going on uh, several no cooling calls every day. So much so that this 24 hour service might take more than 24 hours to get to you. It's pretty much only about a day. Sometimes there is a two day. So, how can you avoid this? Keep the area around your unit clear of debris, check the wires for signs of overheating, and do a maintenance check at least once a year at the beginning of the year. They're checked every year, twice a year. For Wilkinson, the reason for that is simple. Given the uh, uh, forecast high temperatures, for the next couple of days, uh, being over 110, the house can warm up real fast. Now, you should also replace your air conditioner filter every month, especially during the summer. It can get full of dust, which can decrease the amount of cool air that flows into your house. Reporting live, Orcomana, 8 News Now.